Not open yet. Closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh <laughs> looking for my little brother. It's about your height. A little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? Good to see you again, Nathan. What? <laughs> Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you. I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they. The doctors, they patched me up and they tossed me right back into the cell. You bet I. Let me call. I checked everywhere. I, Everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a Sam, I... <laughs> if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have come, come back. I know, Nathan. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? It's some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey. Have a seat. Hey. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Huh. Call some of your contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <laughs> crazy stories. <laughs> Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. So then. All right, you remember the uh, beautiful astrolabe that I had that belonged to Sir Francis Drake? Oh, yeah, the, the one that, what's her name, stole in Cartagena? Yeah, Marlo. Yeah, Marlo. Well, I tracked it down, and all I had to do was fake my own death. That sounds easy enough. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Hmm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? You tell mm. her what kind of trouble. Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Ooh, so pay attention to the story because it is gonna come up in the future. Tonight. 
Listen. Guards. They're singing. Yeah, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Hmm? No offense. We have ambition. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find him? Huh. Any opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmente aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Ooh. Yeah. Vámonos. Huh. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo. Hector Alcazar. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Ah, oh, they killed all the guards. Oh, alright. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. I mean, I'll, I'd like the gun, yeah, I'd like the gun. Remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. I've done Dora's last vueltas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Hagano. Stay close, son. Some more bullets. Can I need those? This is crazy. <laughs> You're going to need to earn our freedom. Shoot, I have no more bullets. Gosh darn it. Why are they just aiming at me and not the people who are like literally right next to them? Hell no, get off of me! Oh, okay, that should be like a whole bunch of bullets all over the place. There it is. Yeah, I see. Hell yeah. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, that's nice. Damn, they built a whole entire like door. Gotta just run away from that, really. Boy. There it is. Almost reminds me of a Thompson. I don't know how accurate I am in saying that, so <laughs> don't judge me on that. On. Nice. Samuel, take cover. Take cover. All right. Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Oh, shit. Ooh, gotta get behind something. Ah, uh, hi there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, this guy can't do anything. Nah, he's gonna be scared. Oh, come on. Whoa. Right in the leg. Samuel, stay back. Holy shit. MP three, nice. Oh, shoot. No! Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Oh, you just gotta keep moving. Oh my goodness, he lose health so fast. Make it out. Nice, clean getaway.
<clears throat> he just said water. say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay, but listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay, but I've, I've, I've got some very solid at least. Least. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, 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 hey, take it easy. Oh. Okay, he's got a gun to his head. Well, we know he lives, so, I mean... More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is... I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear to you. <laughs> How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Oh. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities. Oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Damn. Come on. Now, the nearest town. It's Ten kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. It's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it. Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. Buena suerte, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We'll just pick up the trail where we left off. And... Wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. <clears throat> Let that stop Rafe. Warren's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happen to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Well, is it because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi estate. 
The Rossi estate. Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And where are you going to get the money to outfit all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try it. <laughs> no. We are. Oh no. No, man, listen, I'm I can't. I'm I'm out. What? No, I, I I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um uh, I don't know, like uh anybody Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. Absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? <laughs> I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Yeah. I know, I know, but, uh... It's like I'm gonna take that Malaysian job after all. Hmm. Damn, Hawaiian to your spouse. It's not exactly the best thing to do. But, uh, what are you gonna do? See anything yet? It's a bunch of high class, low light criminals all cleaned up for prom. And no sign from Sullivan yet. There's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Ooh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, no, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. <laughs> it's simple. Right, simple. <laughs> It'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. Hmm. No, no, no. I just need you to trust him too. Fine. Fine. They'll come through for us. Thanks, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. There's old Sully. Trust. Try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. And I do think we're gonna end that episode there, guys. So I know it's gonna be kind of weird, you know, seeing as there's an intro and then there's an outro after a couple of videos. Eh, you know, sorry, that's just how it is. So. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time.